What's the second uh, one? Answers to the question of revolution is the next one that was on the list uh, by order of where it was posted. This one... Okay. This one has a mature rating. It looks like for blood and violence, canon, typical violence, trauma, gore, and mild language. It's a Tizius Stelsific with Tizius and Daria and Malik and Demon. This chapter has Tizius and Daria and the narrator. Okay. Oops. From what I can tell. You posted the link to all these somewhere. I need to find them. It should be in the I fanfic the read chat. Oh yeah, the link will also be going in the Twitch chat. Uh, the list is not, but I will post a link. There we go. Bloop, 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 bloop. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Um, who wants to do what? Hmm. I I figure we'll rotate narrators because we've got four people, so. I would like uh, Tizius. Do... Okay. Um, Sorry. I I would like to try Daria. Okay. Yeah. Danny, do you want to narrate again, or you want me to narrate? Um, this is answers the question of revolution, right? Yes, yep. that's correct. I can try narrating. Okay. I don't remember how to pronounce Tizius' last name. Tizius Entek is what I've always Entek? called it. Entek or Antek? Okay. Are you ready? Are yes. you ready? Um, Hydrate. Do you want to read the summary first, or do you want to just jump right into the fic? Uh, we probably want to read the summary. Okay. Um, a late 413 gift. Your name is Tizius Entik. You are a teal legislator in training of eight and a half perigees. Your hobbies include studying, doing homework, reading illegal documents, mugs, and not keeping a healthy sleep schedule. You are also a rebel and are helping to spearhead a revolution on your violent, corrupt planet. Fellow rebel and best friend Daria has invited you to a rebel, to a rebel event under the guise of an indie concert. The perfect place to make new allies and grow your movement. You're excited for the opportunity, but also shaking in your socks and sandals. You've never participated in anything illegal that was so big before. Will you all be culled before the band can even begin their set? More importantly, how will, Stel how will, you, how will you get Stelsa to let you go? This is somewhat adjacent mm. to the universe from the work The Progeny, written by Articulately Composed. It is great and worth a read. We'll be reading next. And that is... Huh? This is chapter one, My Lover Said No. Your name is Tiz Tizius Entik. You are a teal legislator in training of eight and a half peregrines. Your hobbies include studying, doing homework, reading illegal documents, mugs, and not keeping a healthy sleep. Currently, it's your lunch break. You're across the street from your office at the little grub leaf water place with Zariah. It's a clear night, sky with a full moon. You will sit outside a tiny table for two, ranting. You unload about your cube mate's shenanigans while Daria complains about cavern life and the difficulties of sneaking in. I swear, Tiz. One of these days, Branya isn't going to believe me when I say Wanshi and I are going for a stroll around the caverns. Daria says, stirring her drink with her straw. The bubbles spin in the whirlpool, sh whir whirlpool she makes. She can't possibly buy that. I'm so directionally misguided that every time I try to navigate through the tunnels, I need three to four hours to find my way back. Especially if I have a ridiculously smart wiggler by my side. Where is Wanshi now, anyway? Daria finger guns the small, to the small book hive two stores down. You see the little jade blood sitting by the window. Book in one hand and steaming cup, presumably hot grub cocoa, in the other. As long as I keep bringing her to the book hive that carries one of her Furby series books, she'll be my cover whenever I need her. You shrug and shake the bubbles around. And they float up and down with the green liquid. If... Oh, Matthew. No, sorry. If you're worried about needing to change up your story, couldn't you... Get... Oh, wait, is this Tizius? I think that, that's Tizius. It is Tizius, sorry. If you're worried about needing to change up your story, couldn't you let Lack go with you? You seem to tolerate him well enough. He might be good for an escape or two. Daria coughs a dry laugh. 
Oh, he'd do it, but there's no way that would work. He gets into trouble more. He gets into way more trouble than Branya and I do. You snore. I find that hard to believe. One time, Branya caught him trying to get on in on with MSPA reader as a troll house party, a party with drugs that he bought from Branya's ex. You spit your drink back into your straw. Yep. Caught him half naked with Fago on his breath. You snort. <laughs> he fucked up. How'd he get caught? Does it even matter? It was a three strike, you fucked up situation. Not even Caraco would have been able to escape the shit show that was Branya's fury. You should have seen her bring Lank back by the ear to the caverns. Like a wild, enraged Purby's dragging its misbehaving offspring by the scruff of its neck home for a scolding. She made him wash his mouth with soap and has had him on dish duty since. You both crack up, laughing so hard that passersby look at you funny. Okay, you're right. You say, finally catch breath. You wipe a tear from your eye. I guess you do somehow manage to get into less than less trouble than him. A small miracle, really. Mm-hmm. She hums, takes a sip of her drink, then her brows knit together, pensive. Actually. She starts slowly, looking down at the table. I was wondering if you would like to help me change that a bit. You quirk her brow, but are still smiling. You know I'm always game for helping you break the rules. What were you thinking this time? Another late night abandoned mall visit? Daria bites her lip and swivels swivels her head, looking around. She makes a waving motion with her hand for you to quiet down. This makes you sit straighter in your seat. Your smile drops. When she is sure that you two are alone, she reaches into her pocket and takes out a wide Carefully, she uncurls it and smooths it out on the table before pushing it over to you. Um, it's still me! I looked away for a second. I thought it was comments. <laughs> you look at the bumpy, wrinkled paper. It's poster dominated by the image of a garbage eating hoof beast skull rising out of the back, black background. The horns curl into spirals close to its white head. The lower front teeth stretch up to the oval nostril holes. The writing is smeared but legible. It floats in thick, ghostly gray letters below the skull's chin. Live this week, Mass Chixie. Opener, The Grubbles. All-night concert from Alternia's rising indie music stars. Come only if you are brave enough to stand the heat from these musicians' hot, hot songs. Location, Warehouse 23 by the Great Alternian River. At the bottom of the poster is an orange circle with a pair of antlers in the center. Beneath it the torch. Your hand slides up to cover the weird symbol. You stand now, drink pushed aside, and lean forward as far as you can over the Where did you get this? You whisper. Daria leans towards you, meeting you in the middle of the table. Outside the door of a laundromat on the way down here. Your eyes dart to the side. You see no passerby, no drones. You're completely alone, but you still feel the hair on the back of your neck. Why did you take it? Uh, for us to go to it? Duh. Are you off your think pan? We can't. Why not? It's too dangerous. Darius. <laughs> like any meetup we've gone to hasn't been dangerous? We've talked about this. You sigh. You feel your glasses slipping off and readjust them. We only meet with groups of four to five, four or five rebels in an obscure but semi-public place, and only if we know at least half the people there. This is literally a concert full of gray meat sacks we have never met, all conveniently in one place for a drone to drop a bomb and incinerate in a second. We might as well shoot fireworks that spell, Call me, please. Darius snatches it off the table and holds it to his face. It's only obvious to us that it's a rebel thing because of the symbol. She points to the orange. It can easily be interpreted as the band logo or something innocuous. Otherwise, it just looks like a normal indie concert. Besides, I've seen these posters hanging at Beetle Stops and Grubby Marts. Jones and Loyalists have been passing by this thing all day and have done nothing about it. It should be fine. You snatch it back from her and shove it in her face. Even if it weren't a rebel event, there's also the concern of this. You jab your finger on the table, making it crinkle more. 
It's gonna be a work night. I need to wake up at dusk to be in the office by nightfall. And won't you have, like, jade blood lessons in the caverns or something around then? Daria rules her up. I'll find a way to get out of them. Lank owes me a few favors. You shake your head, frowning. It's still too risky. We've never been out for longer than three hours at one of these things. What could be the purpose of this? Why host such a big gathering now at all, of all times? There's literally nothing going on. People are going to start asking questions and... Tiz, you need to stop. You're overthinking this. Dari interrupts. Her brows are scrunched together and her arms are crossed in front of her chest. So what if a concert is just a concert? That symbol shows that there is still a chance of people like us being there. You've been talking about getting your smell sponge out of the books and into the fight. Come out and meet more of the trolls outside your own circle who want to help you start your revolution. You bite your lip and glance down at the poster. The skull stares back at you, the eyes empty and black. It looks like it's grinning. A smile from the abyss. You sigh. Dar, it all sounds great, but you can't just spring this on me out of the blue. I need to think about this. Dar scoffs. She throws her hands in the air. What is there to think about? The answer is hell yes! You run a hand through. Even if I could go, and I mean if, how am I supposed to get this by Stelsa? Oh, sorry, I missed work today, honey. I decided to do the completely out-of-character move of staying out all night. I can't exactly fake being ill while spending the whole night out. Can't you just take the day off? You are an eyebrow. That would be even more out-of-character for me. Daria shrugs. Fine. Bring her with you, then. Your jaw drops. Before you can say anything, Daria continues. The Grubbles will be there. You mentioned she liked them, right? They still got a public cover of being a fairly neutral ban on politics and stuff. You look at her for a long moment, considering what she said. You sigh and drag a hand out. You know I still haven't gotten Stelsa on board with this whole revolution thing yet, right? If they are spreading the posters out in public, then it has to be some sort of veiled attempt for it to be a normal concert. And who knows, if it does turn out to be more rebel, it might be the thing that changes her mind. Imagine how sweet it would be for your mates for it to be all in, in on all this with us. You wouldn't need to hide your research anymore. And with all her sources from her clients, we can gain a huge advantage. Bringing her would be good for the revolution. I don't know. You look off to the side, your finger tapping against the side of your I really don't want to put her in danger. She scoffs. How do you think she would feel about all the danger you're already putting yourself in if she knew what you'd been doing? Think you're being fair to her here? You cringe. You feel your heart falter with guilt for a moment. Touche. Come on. At least try, please. And if she says no, we'll think of something else. I'll think about it. Daria sighs. She dramatically flops back into her chair, making it scrape against the ground and make a horrible noise. God! Why are you making things so difficult? Will I have to literally break into your hive and drag you to a rebel thing? You, miss, bring down the establishment? You readjust your glasses and sit You take a long sip from your I'll ask her after work, I promise. Daria flops her forearms over her eyes, but you see her smile. You better. I don't want to be the one loser that goes to a concert alone. After work, you return to the hive to find Stelsa in her office. She's at her hush top with several files open around on the desk. Oh, we need a Stelsa. Hey, Bucky, you want to do Stelsa? Sure. I have no idea what Stelsa sounds like. I don't I think don't I've either. done her route. <laughs> She's happy, bouncy, and very, very much like a a karen oh lovely okay great <laughs> oh, if well. you guys want to switch being the narrator i can do the i got Delta. it okay oh well hello there my darling cc she bounces off her yoga ball and meets you at the door she wraps her arms around you and kisses you and you kiss her back your hands gripping her shoulders as you softly press your lips to hers how have you been, Stealth? You ask when you- Never better, Cece, never better. I've been working on the most interesting cases today, can barely keep up with them. Just one right after another, like little cluck beasts lining up in a row. 
She do releases you and sits back on her ball and goes back to She talks to you while looking at Busy, busy, busy. That's the mantra for the day, because busy means business, and business means food on the table and more customers. More customers means more renown, which means I'm one step closer to getting the condes herself to being a client, and wouldn't that be a treat? Not to mention the mental stimulation. You know what they say, you really can't have your round confectionery sugar loaf and eat it too, especially when you're very hungry and you go on a long run, but I went on two already today, so I got to have more of that cake, but oh, what am I doing? You are my darling mate spirit, my very favorite person, I haven't allowed you even 15 seconds of my five minute non working break. How about you, darling? How has your day been? You smile in it into the door frame. It was fine. The usual. I'll get more into it after dinner. Yes, your office shenanigans. We got plenty of those today by me too with that one teal blood down the hall I told you about. A Greg or something. Now that's a real piece of work troll. Let me tell you, oh my god, the silly, silliest mistakes that troll makes. I swear, I could write an essay. No book on all the silly foolishness he gets into. I know he's new, and I should be nice, and I'm of course polite to him, as polite as a wiggler to their loosest, but oh, the pulse pusher attacks he gives us when a client calls back about a newbie mistake on their contract. Oh, dear, I'm talking too much again. Tell me more about your day, Zizi. I remember you mentioned that you were going to meet with Daria for lunch today, right? How is that? You shrug, playing it cool. Fine. She's doing fine. Nothing new to report. Oh, that's wonderful. Really wonderful. Actually, you take a deep breath. You don't know if this is the right time or way to ask, but if you don't do it now, you'll yeah, you'll lose your nerve and overthink it and never get to it. Hello? Hello. Sorry, you got a little quiet there for a second. I don't know why. Did you hear me? Do I need to reread it? I heard you. I heard you. Sorry. Um, I got distracted for like a hot second and then my phone decided to yell at me when I as soon as I opened it. Um, Sometimes you just need to stare off into the middle distance. It happens. Uh, we're thinking of going to a Grubbles concert this week and we were wondering if you would go with us. Stelsa stops typing and beam. Oh, I love the Grubbles. They have that one song about driving a boat into a wall that I just adore. You know the one. She hums the notes of It's my go-to song for my workouts when I need a little pick-me-up. I'd love to go. When is it? You feel your face stretch wide from smiling. Two days from now. Here's the info. You hand her the poster that the Rai gave. Stelsa excitedly unfolds the poster like a regular opening. When she finally opens it and reads it, you watch her smile slowly fall down into a frown. Oh, she says, suddenly deflated. I see that Mask Chixie is headlining. You'll feel your heart plummet to your stomach. Tulsa grabs her planner and flips it open so quickly it makes her sticky notes fly off her desk. I her talent. Oh, go ahead. I suddenly remembered that I have an important meeting that night. And don't you have that big group project due at the end of the week? You should probably skip the concert. My apologies to your Moirail and and schedule something. What's wrong with Chixie? You try to keep your voice level, but you have your hands behind your back. Your nails are digging into the meat of your palm. I'm not like that into her either, but from what I heard, she isn't that bad. Her talent isn't the problem, darling. She pushes the poster back across your desk, towards you. It's the ideal she pushes. I understand that she's a low blood, which is fine, by the way. I don't see color. All rainbows are gray to me. You know my usual spiel on hemospectrum issues. But she said some things about our empire and our condes that make me uncomfortable. When I listen to her music, she was on this indie radio station I was listening to on my way to work the other day, and the things she said about our society made me blush. I mean, it was in code, obviously, but it doesn't take a rocket scientist to get the underlying messages. I never switched a station so quickly in my life. I'm honestly surprised she hasn't been cold yet. It really is only a matter of... Still stops herself, eyes widening. She looks you up and down, then narrows her eyes at you. You haven't been attempting to support anything. 
like her, have you, CC? You find yourself gulping as she makes direct eye contact with you and holds it for a long, quiet, tense moment. Of course not. You say, and your hand is screaming from how hard your nails are doing. It didn't even cross my mind that it might be a rebel thing. I just thought that you might want to see the grubbles. Daria must have overlooked something when she invited me. She probably didn't know any better, but you're right. If you think it, it might be more than just a concert, we probably shouldn't go. Stelsa doesn't say anything. She continues to look at you in the eye. A good. She says, tone flat. She has a mini hop atop her ball to readjust her seat. Danny? Uh, Do you it's you. You? Oh, it's you now. No, I, I lost I, you after seat. She does a mini hop a mini hop atop the ball to readjust her seat and goes back to typing. We can plan something with her for another day. I hate to rain on everyone's parade, but it's better to be safe and legal than dangerous and cold, right, darling? Especially with those late night study sessions of yours. You don't look her in the eyes as you mumble. Of course. And to take the poster off her desk, make up some excuse about getting some office work done before ordering Grubbolo for dinner and leave the room as quickly as you can. Hmm. I like this one. That was good. How many chapters? This three chapters. Are we going to read them all today? Are we going to read them else? No, we're, we usually read one and then the next pick. Yeah, so we'll, mm -hmm. we'll come back, back to this one. Yeah. Okay. This is interesting. 